So today we're starting a little project uh, video series on how to build a swamp cooler. I built one uh, about seven years ago. That's it right there. Thank you, Chupa. And it's called the Pepino, which is Spanish for cucumber, which means cool as a cucumber. Anyway, it's uh, been a lifesaver for me out here. There's a lot of DIY indoor swamp cooler projects that don't work. Like five, <coughs> five gallon buckets and styrofoam coolers with fans on them and stuff. So the basic parts I use, and I'm actually building this for a friend of mine, and I figured this would be a good time to do a how-to video. So I've got two uh, 24 can coolers. Um, I've got tiny little pump. There's a little fountain pump. I've got some batteries, some hose, thermometer, indoor outdoor thermometer so you can sort of keep track of the air, the outside temperature and then the, the air that's blowing in, how cool it is. A little timer circuit to uh, time the pump programmable and a little screen to mount on the front once uh, holes cut in there for the air to pass through and we also have four fans I've got a bunch of these I ordered these a long time ago and a nice chunk of evaporative cooler media this is cardboard works better than the pine straw pads or the synthetic pads and this is the kind they use in greenhouses so in the next couple of videos I'll be putting it all together and going sort of step by step on how to build an effective DIY swamp cooler right Chupa <laughs> 